emotional resonance clearing technique, she'll start off by being like, take a minute and call back to you all the love that you've given out, all the help, all the ways that you've served, all the ways that you've made a difference in everybody's life. Benefit from that and receive that. There's no better way to do that then incorporate your Qigong in a Qigong posture and whoo, bring all bring all that back to you because it doesn't take it away from the places that you gave it. That's not how love works. It multiplies. And what a lot of us get into is like since we live in a duality, that lack of like, well, I don't want to take the love away from that person. You're not going to. All you're going to get to do is also be the recipient and the beneficiary of all the ways throughout time you've helped and you've loved and you've served and you've made a difference. Why would you not get to receive that too? Which really comes back to, it's our Jupiter day of training, right? It's receptivity, blessings, prosperity. And I wanted to make you aware of that, that bring people to their receptivity with a posture just like this. And also remember that all the stuff that we did, you can do with your clients seated in a, in a remote session like this. At some point, we'll build on that. We'll do everything seated, like just so you can feel the difference. But I feel like for us to just get more in our bodies and really get all the meridians activated, it's so important to stand and work on your balance if you can, if you have the opportunity to do that. So, um, that's it. If you have any questions, I do have something I want to say. And I was thinking about this this morning after my own meditation. In a world of duality, which is where we exist, doesn't it make sense? Wouldn't it make more sense and be more mature to entertain the thought? If this is all about duality and Heaven and hell are existing simultaneously right where right where we are right now. Not later, not when we die and we go somewhere else, but right here in this dimensional existence. Doesn't it make sense that the mature viewpoint or outlook on just about any situation would be yes and yes of there's always going to be positive aspects of anything and there's always going to be shadow and nefarious both happen simultaneously and to me that's a much more mature outlook not where you see the immaturity in human development is it's all bad and the government's out to get us or no no that's all untrue and it's kind of like well I think there's a, there's such a, an orchestra and such a tapestry of the good and the evil simultaneously in, in an existence of duality. So it's like in every single second we have that opportunity. We have three parts of the brain, the reptilian, the mammalian, and the angelic superconscious. So. You got your angel brain, your mammal brain, and you got your lizard brain at any given moment that you want to <laughs> spend time in and activate on fight or flight, scarcity, competition, greed. They're out to get us <laughs> like a little lizard running around or our, our, our true animal essence, our animal nature of survival and caregiving and tribe and I take care of my own and I'm going to protect my own and I'm going to get food and I'm going to do all these things and the angelic starseed part of us it's like I came here for something way greater than just mere survival so I just wanted to point that out because it, it's to me a real deep sign of maturity on all levels spiritually emotionally and mentally when somebody's like I'm not going to rule anything out because sure, I'll entertain all possibilities. And uh, you might be right. You know, like no matter what anybody says, maybe there, maybe so. Maybe there's some truth in that. But also in every single moment, 
We are creating our unique existence with the thoughts that we hold, the emotions that we that we generate as electricity and just everything that go, everything that goes on in here is is ours. It's our responsibility in every given moment. So I love you all. Thank you for being a part of the Qigong revolution. I hope you share it with everybody you work with.